viewers so i'm back again with another video in our sso series of video that we are doing and today we'll talk about open id connect this will be a tutorial introduction tutorial for open id connect we are from software circle we educate free learning and this is jitendra so let's begin our study today so the agenda is to learn about what is open id connect why do you use open id connect open id connect grant types open id connect workflows open id connect advantages open id connect open source implementations these are the six different topics that we will learn today so let's begin with the basic question what is open id connect so open id connect 1.0 is a simple identity identity layer on the on top of the oauth 2.0 protocol so it uses oauth 2.0 underlying it allows clients to verify the identity of the end user based on the authentication performed by an authorization server as well as to obtain basic profile information about the end user in an interoperable and trust like manner open id connect performs many of the same tasks as open id 2.1 but does so in a way that api friendly and usable by native and mobile applications open id connect defines optional mechanism for robust signing and encryption whereas integration of oauth 1.0 and open id 2.0 requires an extension in open id connect oauth 2.0 capabilities are integrated with the protocol itself so open id connect is a authentication it works at the authentication layer now moving ahead why to use open id connect okay so uh, open id connect is easier to integrate than saml and it can work with a wide variety of apps easily consumed identity tokens client apps receive user identity in, encoded in a secure json web token called the id token jwt are the elegant and portable and support a range of signature and encryption algorithm client uses oauth 2.0 flaws to obtain id tokens which work with the web apps as well as the native mobile apps oauth 2.0 also means that you have a single protocol for authentication and authorization Open ID Connect is simple enough to integrate with the basic apps while also offering features and security options that can meet demanding enterprise requirements. Open ID Connect grant types. The implicit flow is required for apps that have no black backend logic on the web server like JavaScript app. In the implicit flow a public private key JSON web key or JWK scheme is used to encrypt or sign user details. The authentication or basic flow is designed for apps that have backend that can communicate with the IDSP way for from prying eyes. It is more secure than the implicit flow because the tokens are not visible through the browser and the client app and can also be authenticated. The resource owner password grant does not have an login UI and is useful when access to a web browser is not possible. The client credential grant is useful for machines to machine authorization so we'll try to learn about the flow through this diagram so the relying party client first authentication request is sent by passing it by passing in client id in the second step open id provider authenticate in user in the third step user Details are encoded into an ID token containing user info and the signature using R RS-256 and this information is passed back to the pre-configured redirect page on the web server. And in the fourth step finally, client, I, client checks ID JWT token, connects and confirms signature using public key retrieved from the whatever domain we have just authenticated. So that's how uh, it works. And the source of this diagram is developers.onelogin.com slash openid connect. So this diagram I had taken from the internet. You can pause the video to understand the diagram more better. Now we will learn open id connect workflow. So in the step one an OAuth client when using OAuth to interact with the authorization server need 
only indicates uh, to the AS as it was wants to engage in the additional step and flows that connects defined beyond the base OAuth. As of OAuth, the uh, authorization server AS here stands for authorization server. The AS can authenticate the user and then return to the client both an access token as in OAuth as well as the additional construct called an ID token. The ID token is an assertion by the AS to the client that the user in question did indeed recently authenticate. It is by delivering of the ID token from the AS to the client that the user is able to enjoy a SSO experience at the client. In addition, the client can use the access token on call to the to the authorization server AS user info endpoint in order to receive additional identity attribute beyond those in the ID token. So these are the steps which is involved in OpenID Connect workflow. Now, what are the advantages of OpenID Connect? So OAuth 2.0 is not an identity protocol. It is an authentication and authorization framework for securing arbitrary APIs at the opposed to the API front, fronting identity information. So since OpenID uses uh, built on top of OAuth, so the implicit advantage of OAuth is comes with the OpenID Connect as well. In addition, OAuth access token carry an authorization semantic but do not have an identity semantics. The YDC layer layers these two identity centric concept onto OAuth plumbing to create a framework for distributed identity. OpenID connects adds two notably ident identity constructs to OAuth token insolence model. An identity token the delivery from which one party to another can enable a federated SSO user experience for the user. And second, the standardized identity attribute API at which a client can retrieve desired identity attribute for a given user. Now, in the market, what are the different open source implementations for OpenID Connect? Uh, WSO2, Keyclock, which is very popular, uh, Epsilon, uh, Metroid ID Connect and Dex Identity Provider. So these are the different implementations which are available in market. Uh, many of them as open source. So I have used Keyclock. I'll create some videos on Keyclock as well in future. So thank you for watching the video. And if you find that video is inform informative, useful, please like the video and subscribe the channel. And if you have not watched our previous videos on SSO, go and watch the video and if you think the other videos on this channel is useful, please subscribe the channel and like the videos. Thank you so much.